Hi everyone, Mac here from Minard's Leisure World. Today I'm pleased to bring you the all new 2021 Cedar Creek 377BH. If you've been following the Cedar Creek brand, you know that they've done a huge update for the 2021 model year. Uh, they've entirely rebranded the lineup and now we're looking at just the beautiful Cedar Creek in all of its modern glory. So some of the updates for 2021 I'm gonna highlight here. Let's start talking about the features. Of course, new look. This whole nose cap is beautifully painted, automotive paint from factory. It looks gorgeous, very high class. I love the gold and black and gray accents that they've done. We've got the upgraded Air Ride Trail Air Pin Box. This is from Lippert. Um, it's kind of a multi-component thing that's going to reduce a lot of the shock that's transferred to the truck and trailer in transit. Really important for these heavier units going long distances. A lot of these Cedar Creeks go down south often. Taking a look under the gooseneck, we'll explore our basement storage. So this is storage compartment number one, and you can see we're generator prepped on this model. So if you wanted to get an own and gen set on board to run your whole system, we can help you with that. Otherwise, you've got a bit of extra spare storage just for tools or whatever. A nice steel bottom floor on this and very well sealed. Uh, it's not going to get too dusty in here and definitely going to stay fairly warm. Coming down the campsite, you'll see the fiberglass on this beautiful coach is a brilliant bright white high gloss gel coat fiberglass. This is actually a true gel coat. It's laminated to a nice piece of wood and then hung. So that's the secret to Cedar Creek's wall construction. It's all hung wall construction. Um, they're the last company doing it this way because it takes more time, it takes more effort, but overall the product is much better and it lasts so much longer. And you can see it's truly smooth. It's, it's just high sheen, high gloss that you don't get on your typical lamination. Looking at the baggage compartment, you'll see it's spacious, very wide, very tall, and it's a clean pass through. So super easy to stash your cargo. It's very well insulated too. Cedar Creeks are gonna be featuring some of the highest insulation in the industry. And they back it up with some really nice thick baggage doors with metal slam latches and designated heat ducts into the baggage compartment and underbelly. Coming down a bit more, I wanna show you a unique feature of the 377BH, and that's the outdoor kitchen. As you might know, a lot of mid-bunk models are not going to feature outdoor kitchens. There's just not much room to stash them. But they figured something out for us at Cedar Creek. So step one is actually removing this steel bracket and bringing it outside. And then we've got it magnetically latched up here. This is going to create a shelf for us to place the included Elite Series griddle right on here, cook in the campsite, be with the family. There is a propane quick connect very close by underneath the coach, so you can run that griddle off of your onboard propane, and they even include the hose for you. Uh, another neat feature is that you can access your central vac system, the ready vac, right from this compartment too, so if you need to empty that out, it's easy to get to. They've also included the 110 volt fridge, Nice size bar fridge, it's gonna keep all your drinks cool. Little ice box if you wanna keep some hot dogs on reserve. Whatever you need to keep the kids happy. So just a few other quick things I'd like to mention while I'm here by the entry door. First thing is the entry door. It's actually a little bit wider than your standard size. And you may not notice that on your day-to-day -day life, but uh, it, the benefits, they're gonna be there when you're carrying armfuls of food in and out of the coach. You got kids piling in by the dozens. It's gonna be good. Uh, I also want to mention there's no window, just the peephole, and uh, that's so you can see who's at your door, but it's not going to let in a bunch of obnoxious light either. Above that, you can see the first awning. This is a 12-volt power awning with LED light strip, more of our typical awning that we've seen before, and it's huge. It's going to cover a majority of your campsite, especially that outdoor kitchen, all the way to the front nose. You're also getting a great shot of the windows. These are the frameless windows from Cedar Creek, and uh, they're actually going to come with a really nice dark tint and people find that they don't fog up as bad as some of the standard windows in the industry. Another couple things I wanna point out are the upgraded entry steps going into the coach. These are on a nice gas shock system, so it makes it very easy to lift them. I know these four step models can sometimes get a bit heavy, but this can be done with one finger. And then I also wanna mention that they carried on with a six point hydraulic auto level. They haven't skipped that this year. So last thing I wanna mention on the campsite is the secondary awning, which is actually mounted to the slide out on your campsite. What's unique about this is it's an armless style made by Thule, which is a really well-known brand. Um, these guys have been making this style awning for quite a few years. We've just recently seen it move to the RV industry in North America. 
but also includes an LED light strip. And what I like about this awning is when it's out, there's no arms to walk into. It's got, it's got a scissor action instead of the arm action. So really cool design. All right, so here we are at the back side of the coach. A few quick things to point out that you've seen before, such as the two inch towing receiver on the back. That's rated 3,000 pounds. We've also got the fully mounted ladder to access that walkable roof and the included observation camera system from Furion. Comes with the included monitor. Um, another point on the observation system, there's actually pre-wire all around the trailer on all of the clearance lights and over the entry door so that you can add additional cameras and get a 360 degree view when you're parking or towing. So that can be really handy with these big behemoths as well. A couple more things I want to mention. The lettering on the back of the Cedar Creek is highly reflective so people coming up behind you, they're going to know what you're towing. Same with on the nose so people driving by are going to get that really big glimpse of the uh, CC for Cedar Creek. Last thing I want to mention that I forgot to do on the campsite, uh, this trailer is also set up for a tire pressure monitoring system. All the components are included, they just need to be installed, which we will do for you on PDI, and uh, we will include the monitor so that you can keep an eye on the tire pressure while you're traveling long distance. It's going to tell you if the tires are overheating or over inflating because of the heat. The goal is to help prevent a blowout on the road. So kudos to Cedar Creek. I can't believe they've actually included all of these components that normally people have to buy on their own. All right, we just stepped foot inside the 377BH. Right by the entry door is going to be our main control panel. This is a really nice touchscreen system that's super intuitive. You can connect to it with your phone as well, um, but you have to be within Bluetooth range to control it. But anything you would normally do to control your trailer is done from this panel. So all of the lights, slides, awnings, tank levels, Oh, we can even go to our climate control system. Uh, it's all done right from here. You can even see the full layout of your coach as it sits. Um, so super great system, super easy to use, just point and touch. You can see down to the tenth of a volt where your battery is even sitting. Now, this is a great panel, but just to further back behind this door, we do get a really shallow compartment because that's the mid bunk room. And they couldn't eat into that too much. But there is a hanger if you want to put some keys up or something like that, as well as the solar power monitor. This is going to be monitoring the output of the solar panel on your roof and how it's charging the battery, uh, where your battery life is at, uh, if the battery is starting to lose its overall efficiency, and uh, it's going to control the charge going in so that the battery is not damaged by overcharging. So really crucial component. Basically, Cedar Creek is including a solar panel from factory, so this is going to further improve your off-grid capabilities. Below the steps going upstairs, I also wanted to mention that we have our central vac quick access here. So you can just do the little foot pad if you want to sweep it right in, and uh, it's really, really, really strong. And then they also do include the standard hose system, so you can hook up that way as well. So now stepping foot into the main kitchen living room area of this coach, we're going to kind of gloss over the mid bunk for now. Just know that the barn door system is beautiful and works perfectly. We've also got this 18 cubic foot refrigerator by Norcold. You can see it's a stainless steel front. It is a true two way operation. So 110 volt or propane, again, getting you that off grid capability. It's the largest RV fridge you can buy. In the kitchen, we're going to see a really great chef's kitchen setup. Um, this is the classic layout with the excellent cooktop. This is actually a residential range, four burner with a very large oven. And then a really well placed sink in our island. So when they offset this sink, it's going to open up a lot more prep space for you, which I like to be right beside my range. So really what well designed kitchen, great layout here. They've also included a wonderful pantry with pull-out drawers. And you're going to see some of those goodies I mentioned before, like the backup camera. Here's our TPMS system. All of that included from factory. And these are a soft closed drawer too. Did you see that? That's all throughout. Additionally, above the cooktop, we're getting a beautiful residential style convection microwave. Big stainless steel. You can see it's beautiful inside. Um, this is a wonderful appliance to see in any coach. Beside the cooktop, Cedar Creek's also included these long skinny drawers, which are perfectly suited for a spice rack. Coming down further, we're now going to look at the entertainment stand. Like everything else Cedar Creek has done, it's beautiful. 
So a large TV on a pivoting swing arm mount. We've got great storage up above. Nice big open compartment with our head unit and sound bar below. Now this head unit will play CDs and DVDs, but if you want to add a Blu-ray player or a gaming system, you can do so. There's an HDMI port. It also does Bluetooth from your phone and radio. The fireplace is electric and actually does output about 5,000 BTUs of heat. So it's a really handy electric space heater. Um, helps you go a little bit longer, be more comfortable without having to burn your precious propane. On the back wall of the coach, pretty typical Cedar Creek layout. 360 degree windows and because they're frameless, they're the umbrella style. So they open this way instead of sliding. So you can have them open in some light rain. They've really improved on their overhead storage along the back wall. You can fit a ton of stuff back here. It goes all the way back. And they've also improved on their furniture. The furniture is all residential quality. This sofa here is a true hide to bed sofa, just like you'd see in a hotel room. So definitely the most comfortable option you'll see. And you'll also notice it's much longer because the body of the coach is wider. This is a 101 inch wide body coach. So it's built to the maximum spec. Now our theater seats are going to be on the campsite slide right across from our TV. And they are an electric recline. You can see that right here. Um, they've also got USB ports for charging your devices, a couple of cup holders, and a remote cubby. The fabric is the same as the rear sofa. It's a really nice uh, residential grade vinyl. I can tell it's durable, it's soft, it's pliable. It's gonna last a really long time. Quick note on the windows, the coverings here are a soft roller shade style and they're a two-tone. So this is your night shade that's gonna block all light and then your day shade that's gonna give you privacy along with that really dark tint. They've also changed the light switches. So you can see here, just simple touch lighting or you can adjust it manually by touching the little globes. There's more USB ports by our dinette and you can see they've updated the dinettes here. Nice hardwood tabletop. They've given it a really rustic look and a dark finish. The chairs, like I always, have some storage underneath, and I can't say enough about all these campsite windows. That's just so valuable. Last note about the dinette, there are two more chairs included with this coach. They're a folding style, and they're actually located in the master bedroom. Um, all of these coaches will come with four chairs. So now we're gonna move on to the mid bunk. This is just off the kitchen slash main living room area, and let me just show you. I think this is a really good flexible space that you can use for kids or adults. And I'm going to show you why. So the only slide out in here goes to the non-camp side. We've got our tri-fold sofa. So a little different from the high to bed back there, but still very comfortable. And it comes out to about an RV queen size bed. So like I said, you can sleep a couple adults in here. They're going to have their own private room, their own private storage spot to have all their own stuff and uh, they're not gonna feel uncomfortable on a longer stay with you. This is also great if you have older kids with kids of their own because there's actually a loft up above me too. So the loft above the mid bunk room is perfectly suited for kids, but if you're not using it for kids, you can also use it for storage. It's definitely got the weight rating. Some of the features are really well built though. I mean, the steps leading up, they're extremely sturdy. An adult can walk on those, no problem. They've even got grip tape and handrails so you're not gonna fall. There's a couple light switches there to make sure everything's shut off without having to go all the way inside, as well as an upgraded fan for better ventilation. They've got some of the storage cubby nets uh, plastered on the walls so you can organize all your little gadgets. There's 110 volt outlets and USB ports for charging as well as AC ducting. So it's gonna be very comfortable. The whole thing's basically one big bed. Could you imagine being a kid up here? It'd just be so fun. Before we hit up the master bedroom, I'm going to show you guys the washroom. This is upstairs by the master bedroom and they've updated to a white interior in here. So you can see the uh, beautiful molded sink on that vanity. It's a one piece molded sink. Up above that is a mirrored medicine cabinet with storage in behind. I love all the black accents that they've added in here, like the frame around the triple pane glass doors on the shower. It's a beautiful big shower, residential style faucet with a skylight for extra headroom. Beside the shower is going to be our storage cabinet for all your towels and toiletries, anything that you need to stash in here. They're very deep, well-built shelves. They've even included some hanging hooks for towels as well as a toilet paper roll holder beside the foot flush porcelain bowl toilet. And last thing, it's a pocket style door. So it's saving all your foot space in the hallway, which I really appreciate. Last but not least, the master bedroom all the way in the very front of the coach. Cedar Creek has mastered this. So first thing we're gonna talk about is the bed. This is an RV king style bed. 
you can see they've upgraded the mattresses this year. This is like a bed in a box style mattress. It's They've covered this beautifully upgraded mattress with a bamboo microfiber, which is supposed to be antibacterial and last much longer and be softer. Um, but it's just a huge upgrade over the standard mattress that they include with these trailers. It's going to get you way further ahead without spending extra dough. At the head of the bed, you'll see opening windows on either side with really good blackout shades, as well as USB ports that are easily accessible. I should note there's one 10 volt outlets on either side of the bed as well. In the very front of the coach is our walk-in closet, and it truly is a full walk-in closet. That's what I love. Lots of shelves, a huge hanging rod that goes end to end, and even washer dryer prep. So if you're gonna be in this thing full time and you'd like a washer dryer unit, we can help you get set up with that. The last thing I'm going to mention is that this unit is Wi-Fi prepped, and it's actually got the King Wi-Fi router on board. So you're a whole step further ahead than any other product on the market, it's not just prepped on the roof, it's prepped inside too. So if you want to have Wi-Fi in the coach, we'll tell you how. Now at the foot of the bed, some additional storage is found in our dresser. And they've added some beautiful LED foot lighting just as an accent, a little extra flare. If you like to have a nightlight, maybe that's for you. But we got another campsite window, again, blackout shades with the included TV mounted up above. So you can watch a movie here while the kids are relaxing down in their room and everybody can be happy. So a few closing remarks about the all new 2021 Cedar Creek 377 BH. This is not a new floor plan for us, one we're very familiar with. It's just got a lot of updates for this year. Um, some key points to remember, Cedar Creeks are a top tier build. They're gonna be offering the best in quality and features as you can see. And even though the Cedar Creek is a higher level product, it's still value packed. They're including backup cameras, pre-wire for every option you could possibly imagine, TPMS, it's just all included. Um, so if you're looking for that all-inclusive ticket to getting out in the country with your family, maybe the Cedar Creek is for you. If you'd like to learn more, check us out online at minorsleisureworld.com or to watch more videos like this, follow us on YouTube. Keep in mind, we also have two locations now to serve you better. There's one in Watrous and here in Weyburn, Saskatchewan. I hope to see you soon.